Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop here, and today we're going to have a look at how much power has the sling got. I had a quick look in a previous video. Um, I didn't get any decent conclusive um, readings really out of it. So I've set up a chronograph here. So uh, I have a chronograph which is uh, in feet per second, so I'll convert that to meters per second for me, but we'll come to that. Then I have um, 25 mil an inch of plywood here uh, with a little cutout in it. It's kind of a tricky one, this, because I'm not really good at slinging. So um, what you will get is an indicative power from somebody like me. We'll have a look at the speeds, but there are people who can throw at sort of 60 metres a second. I'm not one of them. But we will get some sort of feel for what's going on. Saying that, this hole, big as it might be, um, is going to be quite a challenge for me. I don't sling generally. haven't done for years. So we'll have a go and see what happens, see what readings we get. Uh, and I'll have a look at both the energy and the momentum this time of the projectile and we'll see what we get. Uh-huh. Well, I got a reading and broke my chrono. Uh, so it's 95 foot per second. Um, like I said, I'm not the world's best slinger, but we'll go for another go, see if we can get it. Hundred and twenty-eight. Right, so 95, 128, let's call it 115, give or take 115 feet per second, let's go do the maths. I've just thrown this sling using lead glands at a chronograph. Now, I've done this test before and didn't really get any definitive numbers by trying to time it, so the chronograph has now given us some definites. It was rather challenging for me. Um, I'm not a great slinger, I haven't done much for a long time and had a small window to get through. But I got two readings out of that, uh, 95 feet per second and I think it was 125 or 128 feet per second. So we'll call that an average of 115 feet per second. Um, now I'm, I work in metric, so I'll convert that and into meters per second, that's 35 meters a second. Now there are guys out there I've heard who can do sort of 60 odd meters a second, uh, which is, you know, pretty extraordinary. But nonetheless, I can throw 35 meters per second. So what can this do in my hands? Well, um, one of the things I love about my channel is people bring up um, interesting points of conversation, they tell me things, they educate, we all educate each other, it's great, love it, keep it up. Um, and somebody pointed out that actually impact energy, which is what I usually do these things for, with, is not a good indicator of the penetration of a projectile, because I was whinging on last time I did this test that it, it goes through 12 millimeter plywood, or, or low grade plywood, and yet I was getting, I think it was 18 foot pounds out of it. And I was thinking, you know, this is, this is a rubbish number. Um, what's going on? Figured my maths might be wrong. So I've just had a look at it now using momentum, which is better, a better indicator for penetration. And again, somebody else highlighted the fact of the momentum of a nine millimeter bullet. So I've just had a look at that. Now, if you take a nine millimeter parabola, obviously there are varieties, but let's just say we take sort of a fairly average thing. It gives you, uh, let's say 1,200 feet per second, which is around 380 meters per second. It has a weight of 7.5 grams. Again, I do it in metric. That gives me a momentum of 2.85. Now, I just threw 115 feet per second, so we average that, uh, we metricate that, uh, 35 meters a second. My shot that I was shooting, the leg glands, um, were around 80 grams. So if we put that through the maths, we get a momentum of 2.8. So 2.85 for a 9mm bullet, 2.8 for the lead shot that I threw uh, just now. So that really is, uh, frankly, I'm, I'm surprised, really surprised actually. Um, I've heard that these things were very powerful. Um, it's just difficult to, to contemplate that this bit of string and this bit of leather that I can roll up and pop in my pocket has effectively the penetrating power of a, a 9mm bullet. 
discuss. I know the nine mil is smaller, blah, blah, blah. I'm missing out an awful lot of stuff. But the point being, this thing, this little thing, it's just awesomely powerful tool. Uh, anyway, there's another video I've done on how to make them. So go out, play, mess about in your backyard. You can do it with soft projectiles, not just with hard. So you can do it with a rolled up ball of paper covered in uh, a bit of gaffer tape or something like that to practice. Saves the windows and the neighbor's cats. Um, go and have a play. Slings are awesome.